Hey, everybody, what the crap is going on with you guys tonight? Ow! Uh, it's Chris Truly, Mr. Derek T. Stevens. I am the crow. I'm a silly man. Uh, my ups and downs and ins and outs and there in betweens. We got lots to do tonight, so we're going to skip a five minute like, warm up lesson. I'm sure you guys have been doodling and everything on your pads already. Okay? So we're just going to jump into everything. Um, I do want to see some homework, though. Crap. We're going to go over, just going to say it, we're going to go over the hour mark real quick, uh, or right now. Real quick, though, if you have, we'll take the first three people, if you want. Let me see your homework, which you've done so far, and then we'll jump into in, in your class. And the reason I like to do this is because I like for you guys to see what your fellow, I guess, teammates are doing. And I don't want you to compare yourselves to them by any means, but it's nice to see other people drawing and, and how they're doing it. So, actually, we'll take the first one and we'll jump into the lesson. Who, who's the first victim I've got here? Our first victim is Mr. Victor. Mr. Victor Von Doom. You're all doomed. You're all doomed. I really like your eyes. I don't say that to many guys, Victor. <laughs> no, I like it. Well done. You got some nice line weight variation going on towards the end of the hair. Uh, the eyes are beautiful. Well done. I am proud of you guys. Last week, uh, just trying to get everything crunched in time schedule uh, for an hour class. Well done. So, Victor, you're my, my benchmark. Everyone has done as good or better, if not, than you. So keep up the good work. And again, I'll, I'll put my email address down before we leave tonight because I had several people email me and look at their stuff. And I hope I've gotten back to everybody. If not, send me yet another email, and I will get back to you. I'm proud of everybody. So let's hear it for Victor. <sighs> okay. Uh, jump back to my screen, and we should get started. Well done, sir. Well done. Ready? All right, first thing I like to do is I like to look at my image, my image size, so we're on the same page here. I have it at 300 DPI, again, DPI is dots per inch, and I work on 20 by 20 to give me plenty of room to muck about and then to uh, dots per inch to grab detail. So you can kind of see how I broke everything down. I drew this line here. I'd say it's about three and a half inches, four inches maybe. Cut it in half so you can see how big her head is compared to her body. And we're going to draw a little devil child because I think we all know one or two of them in your life. You've seen those kids in Walmart? I want some candy. I want some candy. It's like, devil child, shut up and get away. So uh, we'll do a little chippy devil manga child tonight. I ran into a devil child the other day. Man, I love kids, especially the barbecue sauce on them. But that is a different story. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer right here, all right? So... My layer, I'm going to put that on the very top here, because I have my gear, I have my shadow, I have my hair, my second pass and base pass. So I'm literally going to take everything else out here, except my second pass, come to my second pass. Oop, I mean, my, my base pass, I'm a dork. And then start to ghost it out just a little bit, okay? And then come back to my first layer, and I'm going to jump into my black, I rush brush my stroke oh my yep it's good actually i'm going to put it up to about 25. And i remember last time how we made our, our head i'm going to do it over here real quick and then i'm going to trace my lines and do it a couple times so everyone's on the same page but again if you look at this i have an egg shape that's coming up through here and your zyto zygomatic thing where your eye comes in here Oh, bullocks. Maybe I should end the five-minute warm-up. Come down here like this. I didn't make a little chubby looking face. So that's, that's how you're going to do it from, from the get-go. And what I'd actually do is I would take my marquee selection tool here. I'd select all of it. Hit Control T because it's way too big. And then I'd shrink it down. I'd make it wider if I want, thinner if I want. This is probably about perfect right here. So that's how I would do that to get the shape that I want. And it's a really nice tool and time saver to be able to use uh, the Control-T, uh, the transformation tool. So we'll come back over here once I hit my brush. And I'll bring my brush size up to uh, 35. And remember, with the egg shape in mind, I'm tracing along the edge right through here. Your zygomatic nerve or your bone through here where your eye is at sharp little corner that comes out, and I made her kind of a chubby looking face. Come down here, and right where the zygomatic bone is, right where your eye's at, if you're to draw an imaginary line from here to here, you're looking like the ears are going to be coming down here. Now that is not anatomically correct, or is it? It's not. That was just a quiz. 
and then I'll come ahead and go through here. I will do it again, come in here like a so. So I got my head drawn. Yay for the head! And what I'll do over here is come back and get rid of this thing. I'll select it and hit backspace for delete, control D to deselect, and I'll work on over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my base, wait for it, two right here so I can kind of see the shape of my eyes where I want them to be. <clears throat> what I did was I, I put my guidelines down through here, and the eyes are actually going to sit on top of this line here. So the eyes are a little bit above the ears, not too much above, just a little bit. And down through here, you'll see where the nose is at. And that's just my baseline from where I'm, I'm locked up. So ideally, don't draw along right here, but in human anatomy, you'd have one. Uh, what the heck, Mr. Nelson? I would have my brush here. Don't draw along yet, but you'd have one eye here. And you'd have ideally one space from here to here. Then this over here would be your second eye. So let me Z out and all that. May uh, The chippies are a little bit different because their eyes are freaking huge. So I'm going to start up here and I'm actually just going to draw a straight line, actually a little curved line like this. It comes down to a very subtle slant and at this corner right here, let me zoom in for you so you can look. I'm going to come straight down from here. I'm going to leave this area out just a little bit for like an eyelash and come back down to here. So it's almost touching this area right here. And let me try that one more time. What do I make them big? I told you they'd sit on there, so let's make them sit on there. And comes up like this. So if you look at like eyeglasses, your spectacles and stuff like that, it almost looks like a corner of a, an eyeglass. So before we get all worried about details and all that sort of stuff, let's go ahead and work on the other eye over here. So again, with proportions kind of in mind, this eye here should have this much shape through here, but it doesn't, but they're chippy, so they're supposed to look cute and sort of deformed. So I'm going to start over here, almost at the corner. Bring my eye up here. I still want to have some space like this. I'll bring this down to here like so. And ideally, I mean, if I was to like, boop, boop. It looks like she has little glasses on, right? Let me see out of that real quick. That's how we're going to start out with our eyes. Nice, simple, basic shapes. And I really struggled the last week uh, we did this with the eyes. Because I just wanted a simple way to explain to you to do the eyes. So I'm like, well, I'll just make a big dot and we can deform it the way we want to. And that didn't work out so well for me. So I'm, I'm going to try to break it down to simple shapes, but not so simple that it would take forever to rework. So we have our eyes right here. This would make her kind of mean looking. And, you know, with the eyebrows super expressive. So we can bring one up to like this, very arched. When we're coming down here like this and arched. We can even put a little dent right here in her forehead. It was all furled up and rrr, I'm a mean little girl. All right, so let's go ahead and do all this dark detail in the eyes like this. I'm going to come up here, and there's really no right or wrong. And just bring this down here like so. And I'll bring my brush up quite a bit and just fill in all this area with black. And when we're closer to getting done, we'll throw some more highlights in here as well. But since this is an evil devil child, a lot of black is not necessarily a bad thing to do. I guess the main thing I'm hoping you guys realize by drawing simple shapes, taking your time, breaking things down, really nice and easy, you guys can draw anything. I've actually had a couple of you guys and gals from my manga class join my MMO class. And we need more artists. Uh, we meet on Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock, so it's the same time as a two-hour class. You get to talk about development and our art stuff and uh, assets. Great class, so I encourage you guys to do that too. Um, so we have our little eyeballs done. We have a little highlight in here. And for giggles and grins, I hit my E for my eraser tool. And I'll bring it up pretty big here. And then bring a small one down here for a little glint. Bring it back up. And it's a soft brush too, by the way, okay? It's not a hard edge.
She has some, ooh, she got some spooky looking eyes. Oh my goodness, she's a bad child. Now, the psychologist part of me says there's no such thing as a bad child, just a child that makes bad choices and stupid parents. But that's neither here nor there. So let's look at her little nose here. I'm gonna check the width of my brush. It is way too big. I'll bring it all the way down to a 15. And I just make a little triangle right here, right underneath the, the eye line, like that. So we've got her eyes, we've got her nose, and let's give her that mischievous looking grin. Same light, line weight variation, almost come up at her corner like this. And once we get caught up here, I'll give, just give you a few seconds, let's go ahead and make a couple eyelashes on here to make her a cute looking devil child because that's always better that's the way they can get away with murder and like oh little Susie put Johnny on fire but she's so cute it's all good I can understand that right right all right so you guys are all sorted out and caught, caught up with that I'm gonna come over here to the eyelashes bring my eye my brush up to 35 and I go one little triangle here, two little triangles here, third little triangle here, and then we'll come up to the edge. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing up here. I'm going to come up to one little triangle, two, three. Ah, 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 ah. Let's bring it past this headline here. We'll put some eyelashes out like this. So now she looks even more creepy. All right, we can tell our body. All this is is an egg right here. You, it's literally just a fart and egg. So draw my egg shape like this. And if you look at my, my divider line here, we've already did the head shape. So you got one huge, huge head. We're starting to build the body. So we drew our little egg shape. I'm going to draw the placeholder for my shoulder. Bring this down past this area, and as I come down, it tapers off. And I'll use my eraser tool here to get rid of that line. And now I'll go back to my brush button. Since we already have this one drawn here, let's go ahead and draw this over here like this. And chippy hands, I mean, if I was to draw a comic book hand for a thumb, it may look like this. And depending on the angle of the fingers, I mean, you put a little more detail into it and stuff like that. But chippy hands are a lot different. Let me see out of all this. Chippy hands are like little baby hands. Typical chippy hands, sometimes you just get away with a circle. It's not a problem. I like to, if this is my circle, I may build onto it just so it has a thumb so it looks like a mitten. And if I don't want that, I will build my little mitten here, and then one, two, three for a closed fist, chippy looking thing. So we really try to simplify the chippy hands. And since this one doesn't call for a lot of detail, I'll really zoom in here like this for you. There's my thumb, my hand. I don't even bother the fingers over there. I do need to erase this area right through here. So now I have our little egg built. That's cute. That's good. We have a little shape for a dress now. The dress is nothing more than a triangle. I'm going to build off this little angle of the egg once I pick my brush button again. Build upon it right here like this. Cut it in half. And again, I'll use my eraser tool coming through here and you're like, well, why, why isn't the blue being erased? Well, that's in a separate layer and we can get rid of that in a minute. So let me ask, does anybody have any questions right now before we keep going on? Uh, nope, doesn't look like there are any. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right, so we have this area right here. Got We've gotten rid of that. Come down, bullocks. Come down through here for her leg here, kind of like bell bottoms. Her other part of her leg here for bell bottoms. And all of her feet are little triangles. 
We can color them in nice and black as well. I still hate my chippy eyes, but maybe she'll look better with her hair on her. So let's do that. I'm going to get my hair selection right here. Bring this over here and look at me. Now I have hair. I'll bring it back and let's do some freehanding stuff on this. P. And I won't make a separate layer. I usually would for hair and stuff, but in the interest of time, I don't want to dwell through all, dwell through all this. Uh, we'll start with the horns. The horns are kind of spiky, like this. Come down right here. I'm going to make it look round right here so I have volume. Of course, I'd have to race. Bullocks, 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 bullocks. Let's get rid of that pass right here. Okay, that's on the hair. Da, 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 da. Okay, this is where I'm going stupid. Layer one, that's what I need. Got to read my layers. So now if you look at this, it looks like a Hershey's Kiss drop that's been put on your head and kind of melted. You're going to come down here and make a little circle area right through here so you give it volume. Come back here to my hair layer like this. My B button again. And I'm just going to scoot over here. This is the contour of the head. I'm going to want my area to start right about through here. So I'm going to come up here, draw the half circle first. Come up to a nice point. Bring this down here like this. Then you got to go back in two. I'll just leave it for right now because Derek is obviously not thinking straight. The Yes, layers are your friends and you can keep track of them. So now we have little horns on our character. She's a little more chubby than the other character, but we can fix that here in a minute. So what we're going to do is now the hair does not rest directly on top of the head. We don't want to start building from right here. I prefer to build on the hair just a little bit above it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come down through here like this. Ideally, draw through here. Come down here for a small-looking triangle, if I can get my hand to work right. Like this. So you have the hair coming around this, the horns still showing through it. I'm going to come down through here like this. One piece of hair. And maybe another piece of hair like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my eraser tool again and erase the skyline here for where the, the crown of the head goes. Get my brush button back here. And literally, it's almost like a Three Stooges no haircut. You imagine there's a straight line across here. I'm just going to make some zigzags in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up a little bit like this for a nice little part. Come back up. Make a little V like this. Come over here. Make another little V. Come down like this. Come down here like so. Then I'll get my eraser tool out, erase this little eyebrow because it is underneath the hair. And then I'm going to erase this area right through here. And she's starting to take shape like she has some hair. So does anybody have any questions so far? Actually, let's take a volunteer for their screen. Let me see what's going on so I can gauge, you know, hey, I'm doing my job or not. Let's go ahead and take a screen. All right, so we have a volunteer. <laughs> I love the mouth, man. That was awesome. That is like, this is my demon toy. You're not taking it from me. Ah. So who is this? Do you got a microphone? Uh, this is uh, Kaylin. It doesn't look like she does. All right, no worries, Kaylin. I like where you're going with this. I like the eyes. Uh, her right eye is really, really good. And I love that chubby little defiant look. That is awesome. Keep up the good work. All right. Anybody else? We'll take one more, then we'll keep on moving on, moving on. All right, one more volunteer. Um, go ahead and... Post in the question panel or the chat or raise your hand. 
Hey, anyone? If, don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and take my screen, so I'm sure they're working really hard. Take my screen, and we'll just keep on keeping on. Ready? All right. So let's go ahead and build this site up here before we get wild with the ponytail and stuff like that. What I'm going to do here is the hair parts like this. <laughs> parts like that and then maybe move in just a little bit here not bring it down like this but so we can look like it's layered I'll come underneath it like this and go one two come back to my eraser tool and I want to get rid of this area up through here now last class period I showed you just with working with all the layers and erasing and doing stuff like this. So this is kind of a different workflow from last week, but I just want to kind of show you guys all the different work ways that you know they're out that are out. Excuse me, that are out there. All right, so I get my brush button back again, and from this area right here, you can tell this comes up here, and actually I finish that here. So let's go ahead and build upon here and bring this area down like that. And since we have one, two, three here, let's go ahead and bring another little flake of hair down here like that. And I'll erase the ear area. And what we can do, since she's a devil child, it's not really reflected over here. Let's go ahead and do this. I hit my brush button again. And I'm getting lazy. I'm not going up and down for different line weight variations. So let's actually make this line a little bit smaller through here, right the top of her eyelash. Go ahead and give her a big triangle like this. And then we'll erase the inside of her ears like this. So it's nice and clean. I go back to my brush button. Again, it's smaller than the line weight through here. I'll zoom in here for you. And the very top here, make a little almost S line right here. Follow this down here like this, and we go one, two. Look with my shoe. And then I come back here like that. Now, the devil child has a devil ear. Nelson, she's scaring me already. She looks so evil. I'm sorry. I'm drinking Oak Zero, brought to you by 3D Buzz. All right, so let's go ahead and get wild with this ponytail thing. Right up here, I give a little ponytail-looking holder like this. And then I do a quick line like this, and I go one, two, three for some textures. And tell you what, I'm really going to bring my brush size down to a nine now. And I'm going to zoom in here nice and close for you. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I inspired that I fear. Then with these strokes here, I want it to originate from this point. And I'll bring these down to this point. The same thing with this area right through here. I'll bring down to the point, make three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So now when we zoom back, it, it has some more texture into the hair. It makes it more interesting. So I'm happy with that. I'll bring my brush size back up to a 35. And then we're going to go just do wild stuff with uh, I'm looking at hair. Now I'm going to start off coming at an angle like this. This is a straight line. And I'm building from this area right here. I am not coming in through here like this. Zoom in. I'm bringing it from this area right here. And then I make with one solid swoop, like this, make a triangle. And I'm going to do a big swooping line out here. So I'm going to come from here like this, out, and then really close, followed by another little triangle like this. And what we're trying to do achieve here is it looks like hair is bunched up. So from this little ponytail holder, I'm going to go one, two, and I'll bring my brush size down again, just like we did with this inner part of the hair through here. And I'll just make a few greeble lines, as Mr. Steve Curtis likes to call them. 
so we have some texture into the hair. And what I'll do is I'll zoom in really close for my little horns. I'll bring my brush size down to a 7. Start wrapping stuff around, following the contour. Like that. Zoom back. And it's, it's a good amount of detail without having too much detail. Because, you know, this is going to be our chippy girl, our devil child. So we want to, you know, make her looking fun and interesting and all that sort of stuff. Now what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to start working on her, uh, her torso. Now she looks really fat because I forgot her neck. So I'm actually going to erase this area right through here like this. Get my brush button down here. Let's make a solid little line like this. I need to bring my brush up a little bit. And then I can bring my arm out like that. Use my brush button again. I'm going to come in here and give her kind of like a half sleeve shirt on each side. And you see we put little bitty ruffles in here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And I kind of want her to have a bib on. So I'm going to bring my, my brush is at 15. I'll bring it to 25. The bib, I come straight down like this around here. And then I have kind of like a little skull looking thing right here. I'm an evil devil child. And then I make the pleats and the dress. Bring my brush size down quite a bit. And let's make little spooky gribbling greebles right through here. And now to make it all complete, I bring my brush size back up to a 20. And there you go. She has a little dress on. We actually decorate the legs a little bit. Here, I got an idea. Let's do this. Let's zoom in here real quick. And we'll give her some flames. So now that I zoom back, again, this is not a great amount of detail. But when we shrink this down to, like, production size, because if we're going to make a chippy this big, we and it was going to be seen this big, we'd have to put a lot more detail into it. But I prefer working big like this and shrinking my work down. Again, going back to what I do for comic books, my comic book pages are 17 by 11, and they get shrunk down to 11 and a half by whatever, and it makes the detail that much better, that much more tighter. So tell you what, while we're going, let's look for another volunteer to see where they're at right now, if that's good with everybody. Give me one volunteer. All right, hands up, post in questions panel or in um, BuzzNet, or, well, preferably questions panel. Uh, all right, looks like we have a volunteer. All right, let me see. Uh, if I can find the button. Uh, here we go. Let me see what you got. You there? You gonna take the screen? Gotta see you, gotta see you. Did I push the wrong button, Nelson? Or did they not take um, the screen yet? No. Or we're just waiting on them to accept the uh, request. Okay, this may be the first thing, time they've ever done that. You, on your screen, you should see a little icon or a little box that says accept screen. When you push that, we can actually see your screen. But you have to push that first. All right, Mr. Nelson, <laughs> tell you what. Obviously, uh, we're having some technical difficulties. Uh, let's show my screen again. Alrighty. All right, so if everybody is ready to catch up or is caught up, we will start again. You guys ready? You ready, Mr. Nelson? I'm always ready. You are ready, able, and willing. All right. So we got the little hair going on, and we got the little pretty-looking dress going on here. So let's have some fun with the tail, okay? 
Now, on my, my actual little concept of everything, I just drew a, a solid little line. Uh, and we're going to really zoom in here like this. This is a really, really good hand-eye coordination test for dexterity. I love Nightcrawler, but drawing his tail, oh my gosh. And you guys will soon know why. I'm going to come up, single line like this. And now you got to zoom in. It's the same line length variation. You have to make it look good. So I'm trying to leave enough space around everything so nothing's really pinched in or looks awkward. I mean, technically, this is a devil child, so it can look kind of awkward, too. And I'll bring this up here. I need to turn my bloody phone off. And then I'm going to make a big looking triangle like that, and then put a little detail in here. When I zoom back, our devil child has a tail. Now here's what I'm gonna do. Ask me what I'm gonna do, Mr. Nelson. What are you gonna do, Derek? I'm gonna do something crazy and erratic. I'm gonna to go to my image or my layer. I'm going to flatten all my images together. I'm fine with this, I'll tell you why. Because I'm running out of real estate over here. And then I'm gonna come over here, my magic lasso tool. This lassoing, this chicky chick over here. I love my transform tool. I hit control T and then I can bring her down really small right underneath here so I can kind of see what I'm doing still. I hit enter, I hit control D to deselect that area. Now with my magic wand tool already selected. Again, I'll circle this little chickity here, hit control T and let's move her happy butt over here like this. Hit enter, control D to deselect. Now I have a lot more real estate and room to work with. So we kind of got a little devil child going on real quick. I think she's looking pretty good. So let's see her little teddy bear. And here's what we're going to do. We'll draw a teddy bear on a different layer. This will be a good exercise in using your transform tool. So I'm going to hit B-E-A-R. So I'm going to draw my bear over here in a separate layer. I'm going to shrink it down and place it where I want it. So with my bear, again, it's almost like a little egg shape like this. So you make your little egg. You make a little half circle inside where his little belly button would be. And why not? Let's just put a little belly button right here like this. I got a belly button. And it's an any. And then I'm going to draw another little circle, almost not like making a reverse snowman. And you know what here, keep your aid, keep your aid. Here's what I'll do, instead of drawing them upside down because that might booger some of you guys up, just another ideal lesson in, the, in your transform tool. So let's make them the right way. Draw a little circle like this. We're back to the little circle on his head, like so. My half circle in here, where his little belly button was at. I want one leg that is coming up like this. Now notice, uh, it's inside it's getting wider. It's coming here, it's getting a little wider. What I'm going to do is, it's almost like building an ellipse. I build this as a round circle so I can follow it around like this. And you can have fun with little bits of detail, because detail is everything. You can come in here and make another little circle, the bottom of the foot, then one, two, three. So it looks like he has little piggies. These little piggies went to the market. Now the other leg is going to jet out this way. So again, I'm going to come in here. Still making skinny to wide because we're doing the same trick with this foot over here. It comes out almost like an ellipse. You close the ellipse up, make a little circle here, then one, two, three for his toes. Now we have the legs drawn. This is for giggles. He's got a Band-Aid on him, too, because he's been hurt. Okay, we're going to draw one arm out like this, just like the foot or the feet, but a little bit shorter. So I start off a little skinny, and I bring him out wide. Finish my circle here. And I'm going to make little dots here for his little hands. And bring this one up. What we're going to do is we're going to draw past this, so like it, half his head's hiding it. So this way, when we reverse it and make it go upside down, it looks like things are dangling. So now I'm going to draw like this. 
and right in here so it gets skinny. So now I have that illusion like I have volume and three dimensions even though his head's in the way. Now from that we'll put his little ears on and you can do not really a triangle, they're kind of like little humps, little ends like that. And then we go on the inside for the little humps again like so. And then we give him a little nose, a little triangle for the nose. And what we're going to do is a W here. Then one, two, three, four, for his little dots, his little whiskers. And I'm really going to pump up my brush size here to give him a big eye like this. And then what I want to do to make it spooky and weird is I'm going to draw a crossed out eye like that. And let's do this. Like this guy's been ripped up a lot, put some seams on him. He's been through lots of surgeries. Poor bear. So now we have our bear layer selected. We drew our little bear here. Now bear with me, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm very funny. I'm not sure how much more you can bear of this. Hmm. But I, I know it's terrible. <clears throat> and what's really sad is because, never mind, no more bear jokes. No more bear jokes. I did want to say something like being stripped down to your bear necessities. I just couldn't think of a, a clever way to, to throw it in here. <clears throat> so anyway, let's go ahead and use our magic wand tool. And I hate this bloody thing right here. I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm going to select a spare here like this. Hit Control T. And make him a little bit smaller. And then you notice this little icon how it changes from this going up to down, or I can move it. And this is actually going to allow me to rotate the bear the way I want it. We'll bring him over here like so. Let me see my layers, because that's a clear layer. Crap, I forgot about that, but we're going to live with them. Hit enter, control D to deselect. Really zoom in here like this. This is not the best workflow in the world. I apologize. My fault. Let me do this. I'm going to select my background layer. And everything that's inside the bear from the background layer is going to be erased. That way I'm not touching anything of the bear. You're not going to be able to see her little feet through here like this. And you're not going to be able to see her leg and through here because the bear's leg is like this. It's like this, like that, it's like what, y'all? So all I'm doing is racing the background layer. So our bear actually shows up where it needs to go. You zoom back here right now. And voila, looks like she's dangling a bear. Oops, I don't see that part of the dress in here either because it ruins the illusion. So we have a little bear we drew. We have a little demon child we drew. And I thought for, for giggles and all that, what we'll do is I'm going to hit my B button for my brush button again. And I'm going to draw a triangle that comes out like this. And then almost like the bat signal come out on either side of her like so. And then I make a big looking round head like this. And then circles for eyes. Make a big huge mouth like this. Big sharp pointy teeth. And what we'll do here is we'll just draw some lines through here and maybe some little brick area like this. Some area where the line of the ground's growing, blah, blah, blah. And we'll get rid of this little girl over here. Go back to my brush button. Maybe there's like a little window area right over here. 
And some of the pain in the glass is broken. Ooh, it's spooky. She's in an alleyway. She's going to mug you and steal your soul. Some lines over here. Some more brick like this. Eyeballing perspective. Make a little moon over here. And a real quick cheesy background with a little devil girl holding a bear and a spooky ghost looking silhouette going on with her. And that didn't take us any time at all. And this is this is what the purpose of their class is. It's supposed to be down, quick, dirty, fast. Uh, just to get you guys to understand that you can make anything basic shapes. And like my other art classes that I teach, my steampunk one. Now we spend, it's a two hour class, we get a lot more time involved in everything. We put a lot more detail, we put a lot more work on anatomy and physiology. A lot more a lot more work on the gears and guns. But this is why I've chosen something super cartoony, because it's okay to flub up cartoony so much. But when you're doing like my Manga Fusion style, I don't know, hold on. Do I have anything up that's Manga Fusion? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, here's one. Like that, that drawing I did today, that took about an hour and a half for me to do. Uh, but in, in other classes, that's not you know so quick and to the point. We actually get to build some really cool stuff using textures. We work on lighting and stuff like this. But again, this is an introduction class to you guys. I hope you're really enjoying it and liking it. And what I'd love to do, since we have a couple more minutes left, is just take some volunteers, at least two or three people, to see what they've, they've come up with so far. And uh, I will write my name down an email address again in case you guys do not have it and you guys can email me your work. Do we have any volunteers? Um, I don't see any hands. So if you can't raise your hand sometimes when or when you're made a presenter you can no longer raise your hand so in that case post in the questions panel and we'll see what we'll see you if you don't have the option to raise your hand. I promise you I won't make fun of you. Nelson might, but I, I won't. Okay then, no volunteers. You, you, I reserve the right to ship kittens to your house and they will cry because it hurts my feelings, but that's all right. I hope you guys like this lesson. We have lots of stuff on 3D Buzz. Uh, the Daily Forms, the Daily Drops, Crow's Nest. I think the Mermaid is up right now. Uh, and I really take my time. Did, did you see that on my screen? Huh? Nelson? See what? Did you see that dude pop up on my screen? No. It's like a Skype freak. Here he is again. Can you see this? Nope. Hey, I can see. Or wait a sec. Oh. Awesome. Well, that's never happened before. I guess someone tried a webcam. Rock on! Well done. I don't know how that happened. That is freaking cool. That's a great idea for people who are drawing by paper. I like what you got going on. It's, I'm giving you a thumbs up too, dude. Email me at stevensd71 if you can scan them at gmail.com and we'll talk some more. I love your teddy bear too. Well done. All right, with that, we'll do this as a wrap. Well, Guys, it's actually, just... we got a couple more coming in. Oh, really? Then <laughs> let's do this. Um, Kalen has one. Okay. <laughs> She's got a big old tail. Your teddy bear is demonic. I love it. I love that little look. She's got that defiant look down great. And I love the detail you put in her skirt with her collar and stuff. That's a cute, disturbing looking chippy, dude. Well done. It's a big, big tail as well. She trip over that stuff like Batman's cape sometimes. He should probably trip over that. I love it. Who's the next volunteer? Um, actually, I think that was the last one. Okay, cool. So you guys got my email address. Make sure you visit uh, the daily uh, daily drops we have going on. They're free. They're a lot more slow, and they're already pre-recorded, so you can scrub through them. 
so you can take your time. Again, I think this last three or four is all about drawing a hot looking mermaid. I got in so much crap because I, I put a butt on my mermaid, okay? I mean, she's got some junk in the trunk. She looks sexy. If I thought of a mermaid, this is what I'm thinking of. Not the little bitty Ariel chick, but a hot mermaid chick. So definitely check that out. I encourage you guys to PM me on 3D Buzz. I am the crow, T H E C R O W. Well, there's my personal email address, stevensd71 at gmail.com. Guys and gals, thank you very much for being here tonight, and I'll see you guys next class.